Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Steve, and in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about wristwatches and video games. So, uh, a few weeks ago, Hamilton released the news that they were going to be providing their field mechanical titanium to the character inside of Far Cry 6, and I thought, hey, what better time than right now to talk about watches in video games and to give you guys the top five um, basically my top five list of the best watches in all the video games. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and plug my merch store. Speaking of video games, I got my video game merch here. Check me out right there. I'm right there. I've got the hammer. If you can't tell, this is a Donkey Kong spoof or not spoof. Uh, 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 what's the word? What's the word? Parody. Parody. It's a Donkey Kong parody. I have three designs uploaded to my merch store right now, so click the description below to check those out. So let's get into the, a few honorable mentions before we get into the official top five list. And the first thing is going to be the Hamilton Field Khaki Titanium. Now, according to the content director of Far Cry, the, the watch will actually give players an in-game benefit. So that's going to be really cool to see how that all plays out. It's not going to mere, merely be telling the time it should actually have some sort of function in the game, which is a pretty cool aspect. Next up in the honorable mentions are going to be all of the wristwatches from the Call of Duty series. If you're not familiar with Call of Duty, which I don't know how you're not at this point, it's a first person shooter. Your wristwatch is visible pretty much the entire game, and there's a whole plethora of wristwatches. They're all unlockable in the multiplayer. Um, each mission pretty much has its own wristwatch, especially in the um, uh, later release games like Call of Duty Cold War. Um, I know every single mission, I think you have, you play as different characters, so in different missions you have different wristwatches depending on the situation you're in. And depending on the wristwatch you use in multiplayer, some track different stats than others. It's, it's a pretty cool feature and a good thing to like collect them all. Pokemon style. All right, so coming up on number five on the list, and the only reason I'm putting it at number five is that I personally have not played the game, but I see it all the time. It is going to be the watch from Dead Rising. Now, if this watch looks familiar to you, it is a almost one-to-one -one replica of an Omega Aquaterra. Now, at the 12 o'clock, you're going to see the words Mega Man, and that's the brand of the watch. And it's also an Easter egg because Capcom developed the game Dead Rising, and they also developed the game Mega Man. So that's a little cool crossover between the two games. And coming in at number four is coming from the game of World of Warcraft. It is Furlbrow's Pocket Watch. Now, we don't really get to see this pocket watch up close and personal, uh, but you do get to see a little icon that shows uh, a little sun and moon. Now, the reason why I put this up so high is because I have a very deep nostalgia for World of Warcraft. I played that back in the day. 2006, 2007, and this is one of the earlier quests that you go on. It, it doesn't have anything to do with wristwatches per se, but you do have to fight the Defias Brotherhood, recover the pocket watch, and take it back to the farmer in order to set things right. So that's why this watch is coming in at number four. I know, like I said, you can't really see this watch up close and personal, but hey, there it is. And coming in at number three, and it's going to be my wristwatch check for this video, is the Metal Gear Solid 5 watch. Now, I have done a review on this watch, so please click up there, watch the review. It's a really, really fun watch, and I love it. I love everything about it. In the game, you get the watch in the opening scene, in the opening segment, and you basically wear it the entire game and every time you smoke your phantom cigar the watch dial comes up and you get to see cool little graphics on it now the creator of metal gear solid hideo kojima is a huge movie buff and he pays attention to detail like none other so with this watch it actually is an homage of the seiko g757 that's the same watch that roger moore wore in octopussy Secret agent, international spies, you know, it, it, it fits the Metal Gear Solid theme very well, and you can't go wrong with this watch. Speaking of James Bond, it's gotta be the Omega Seamaster from GoldenEye. I know you guys probably thought this was my number one, but no. Alas, it is my number two. Now, this watch in the game can do pretty much anything. It, not only does it tell you your equipment loadout, it tells you your mission. 
It has a laser, it has a detonator. There are so many things that this watch can do. It is unreal. It has an analog display. It has an LCD display. It tells you your health, your armor. Tells every, anything that you need a watch to do, it does for you. This watch is unbelievable. And obviously it is the Omega Seamaster, only an N64 version. So there are a little bit of differences. An amazing watch, both in the game and in real life. And I'm so glad I own it. If you haven't seen my unboxing for that, please click up here. That way you can see the unboxing of my first luxury watch. <laughs> so you're thinking to yourself, if he said the Omega Seamaster at number two, what's the number one watch? I'll tell you what that watch is. It is the Pip-Boy 3000 from Fallout New Vegas. No, it is not. It is the Pimp-Boy 3 billion from Fallout New Vegas. This thing is solid gold, diamond studded, silver accents throughout the entire watch. Yes, the Pimp Boy 3 billion does everything. It lets you know if you're hurt. It lets you know if you're tired, if you're thirsty. It gives you GPS, both world map and local GPS. It gives you a radio. It lets you know what you're carrying, like your weapons, your clothing, your junk. Did I say it had a radio? Oh, and it also tells the time over there in the top right. No big deal, the Pimp Boy is the best watch in video games, hands down. And it's solid gold with diamonds, bro, with diamonds. What more do you want? The Pimp Boy 3 billion is the best watch in any video game ever made so far. So that's the list. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. If you like this style of video, please, Subscribe below, hit that like button. I forgot what I was supposed to say. In the description, you'll see a whole list of everything from my social media links to my Amazon store, everything. Just go ahead, click every single link down there. Subscribe, hit the bell icon if I didn't say that already. I'm gonna pop up a couple of videos right there. Go ahead, watch every single video. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.